Hello, my name is Lisa Kaharski and I am here to clear up the common misconception that all mutations are bad. I have moved away from the idea in my proposal to a video essay as the availability of my personal technology has become compromised. Before a formal education of basic genetics, my idea of mutations came solely from what the TV exposed me to. Examples ranging from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the X-Men cartoons but to me being scarred from my mom's love of horror movies, particularly the movie The Fly, when the main character believes he had successfully created a teleportation device, he tests the device on himself, but before he shuts the door to the enclosement, a fly slipped in with him, creating a scary looking mutated monster that still haunts the back of my head when I can't sleep at night. Some real life examples of mutations are cancer, sickle cell anemia, color blindness, Crudichat syndrome, and hemophilia. All of these disorders are just as scary as the fly man, to be honest, but let me ease your mind a bit. A mutation can happen in any step of cell reproduction. Though these processes don't vary too much from organism to organism, I will be focusing on the cell reproduction in humans, eukaryotic organisms, organisms that consist of cells that have a nucleus inside the cell's membrane that reproduce sexually. Humans reproduce when a biological man and a biological woman complete the act of sex, and after several months of development, a baby is made. Now let's whittle down the parents to just singular cells. This cell is called a diploid, as it has two copies of their chromosomes that holds their DNA or genetic information of that organism. This is normally 46 chromosomes. The N inside the cell stands for genetic information. This cell is not ready for reproduction. It needs to create sex cells like eggs and sperm or gametes through the process of meiosis. Meiosis starts with a diploid cell that splits into two cells, each containing a copy of the parent's chromosomes called haploids. This is in the M1 phase of meiosis. Those haploids then split up again to create gametes. Gametes created by some cell do not necessarily have the same genetic information to have genetic variation. When two gametes come together from different organisms, they create a new diploid, a new life, or you when your parents get together. This new cell can grow into a new life through the process of mitosis, when a mother cell divides into two daughter cells with identical genetic information. What I just explained to you is a watered down version of how our cells reproduce. A mutation can happen in any part of cell reproduction. When originally learning about the subject, I made the assumption that when cells reproduce, it is done perfectly. That was an incorrect assumption because any time genetic information is not copied perfectly, it is considered a mutation. This genetic information or DNA is made up of molecules called nucleotides. Which again, if you see me here. Each nucleotide contains a phosphate group or sugar group and a nitrogen base. The four types of nitrogen bases are adenine, thymine, guamine, and cytosine. The order of these bases is what determines DNA instructions or genetic code. There are several types of mutations that happen when DNA is not copied correctly that result in defective protein structures. Deletion happens when a part of a nucleotide sequence is deleted from a sequence and not reproduced. The insertion of additional base pairs is called insertion. A silent mutation happens when a nucleotide sequence is substituted but does not change the genetic instruction while the missonance mutation will change the protein that is scripted. The genetic diseases that I named earlier, cancer, sickle cell anemia, color blindness, Kurdichat syndrome, and hemophilia range from either a chromosome replication mutation during meiosis to day-to-day -day mutations from mitosis. Kurdichat syndrome results in a human that needs to be cared for daily for the rest of their life, while color blindness just affects the colors that certain humans see. Overall, mutations can be bad 
but can also be good as they are a pair of light. Post-education on this topic, I would put mutations and death on the same tier. Sounds terrifying, but it's necessary for the way of our life. 